My closet is fairly curated, so I do wear most of the pieces I own. I think especially in today's world, it's even more important to take pride in making good use of what we have for many years. However, there are certain pieces in my wardrobe that I don't reach for as much. The first one is this leather jacket from Set. This is also the only leather jacket in my closet. This is beautifully made and the design is timeless and simple. I haven't been making good use of this mostly because I feel like I can't really pull off a leather jacket. It just feels a little bit too rock and roll for my personality. All that being said, I wanted to include at least one leather jacket in my wardrobe because it was like a missing puzzle piece and I think it will always come in handy. The leather is incredibly soft and supple and this jacket is fully lined on the inside. I must say this jacket is really comfortable to wear and most importantly, it keeps me quite warm. Usually, if I add a big cashmere scarf, it's warm enough for a mild winter day. I only found out about this brand several years ago when Harris was doing the Boxing Day sale. The reviews were all really positive, so I decided to give it a try. If you're looking for a leather jacket, I highly recommend looking into this brand. The price range isn't as hefty as other designer brands such as Versace or Saint Laurent, but their pieces are really well made and their designs are fairly simple and timeless. I have six scarves in my collection and there are two pieces I don't wear much. The first one is this Burberry silk scarf. The silk is really the softest and the shiniest and it features the very classic Burberry check print. This is quite a thin scarf so it doesn't do much in terms of keeping warm. I think this is purely a nice looking accessory. To be honest, this has always been a bit of an attention grabber. I don't wear it much but every time I have it on, I will get a few compliments. Typically, I only reach for this when I need a bit of finishing touch for a very plain outfit. For example, when I'm wearing black from head to toe, this really helps to tie everything together and bring the outfit to life. To tell you the truth, this was a complete impulse purchase. I'm not sure if I'll buy it again, but now that it's in my wardrobe, I'm not rushing to sell it either. I also don't wear this Gucci scarf much. This has a lovely dark brown color and it features the Gucci monogram embroidery. The monogram looks quite faint from a distance, but it's more noticeable in the sunlight. This is not my favorite scarf, mostly because the material doesn't feel as nice on the skin compared to the other pieces I have. I also prefer my scarves to be quite substantial such as my Hermes cashmere scarves, which are essentially two gigantic squares. That said, I am planning to keep this scarf in my collection because the color works really well with my outfits. Now that I've been playing with it, this scarf is actually growing on me, so hopefully I'll start wearing it more and more. This red dress is from Coast. 12 years ago, I had a very small and personal wedding, and this is what I wore for the dinner party. I donated my wedding dress to a charity that works on preventing child marriages, and it's a decision I've never regretted. I kept this dress because it seemed more wearable than a long white wedding dress, but as you can see, it really stands out in my very neutral wardrobe. I'm not sure if I'll actually wear this dress again. Perhaps part of me just want to retain a small keepsake from my special day. Anyway, what do you think? Does red work on me? The next least used item is this wool cape from Rag & Bone. I remember falling in love with this when I first saw it on the net -Porte website. This can be worn on both sides. One side features the grey colour and the other a dark beige. I think this adds a lot of versatility to the cape. I typically only wear the beige colour, but the colour contrast gives the cape more depth. 
even though it looks lovely, I don't wear it a lot because first of all, I have to be quite restrictive with the handbags I use. For example, I can't really carry a shoulder bag because it would displace the cape and it just doesn't look quite right. So I usually have to go for a top handle bag when I wear this cape. Secondly, this cape has no collar or sleeves, so it tends to move about. I find that I often have to readjust the cape just to make sure it's centered. I usually only wear this as a cover-up when I have to wear a dress to a more formal event. I think it looks a lot more elegant than wearing a jacket or a coat. So even though I don't wear it that much, I think it's useful enough to stay in my small wardrobe. I don't wear this cashmere jumper much. Some of you know I love my cashmere jumpers. In fact, I live in them throughout autumn and winter. This jumper, however, hasn't been getting much attention from me. This is from a brand called Aqua. I bought it about six years ago when I was in New York. I thought the design was really cute and playful, but I now tend to prefer simplicity. Most days, plain cashmere jumpers are my go-to, and I sometimes also enjoy a good stripy design. So in the last few years, this has been my perfect Christmas jumper. I think the little red heart is a lovely festive element. Plus the material is so soft and pampering, unlike most Christmas jumpers which are made of acrylic. For me, those are good enough reasons to keep this jumper in my wardrobe. I mentioned these Bauman t-shirts in my previous video. Even though I quite like the button details, they do make the t-shirt feel lopsided. I used to wear the black one a lot more, but even just with hand washing, you can see there's plenty of wear and tear on the fabric. The white one is still in fairly reasonable condition, but I still don't wear it that much. I now find the design a little bit too loud for me, and just like my jumpers, I now prefer my t-shirts to be fairly plain and simple. This is a cashmere poncho from 81 hours, which I purchased from the My Teresa website. Unlike the rag and bone cape, this has a collar, so the poncho stays in place nicely and is also a lot easier to wear. That said, I still have to limit myself to only top handle bags when I wear this poncho. I guess a small crossbody bag works, but it just takes away that flowiness of the poncho in my opinion. Apart from the slight inconvenience, I love everything about this piece. The design is really flattering and the cashmere is so cozy. If you already have a functional wardrobe, a poncho might be worth looking into. It's not a daily piece for sure, but it just looks really feminine and classy. So those are the least worn clothes in my small wardrobe. As a luxury minimalist, I get a lot of joy from making good use of my pieces. Not too long ago, I was obsessed about decluttering everything that I didn't use much, but I'm glad I've now embraced the virtue of moderation. Keeping a small element of just in case and maybe one day items doesn't make you a hoarder. This opinion might be unpopular for some minimalists out there, but I now believe keeping things intentionally is sometimes a very effective way to maintain a small wardrobe sustainably. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for being here. Take care and I will see you soon.